Welcome back everyone, welcome to my channel Crayon and Lane Teach and today we're going to be looking at addition and specifically this video is going to be looking at addition using the part part whole model or whole part part model depending on how you look at it. So if you think that is something that you're going to find useful then keep on watching. So today we're going to be looking at the part part whole model to help with teaching addition and there's lots of different ways that you can teach addition using this um, method. So what I've done here is I've just drawn a part part whole model on a whiteboard. So the top part we've got part part, there has to be two boxes or two parts up here and then whole so like one big box down the bottom. Now you can easily draw this on a whiteboard, a piece of paper, a piece of card, even in um, your child's jotter or whatever it is they're using so it's up to you how you want to make one you can even find them online and print them out as well so what we're going to do is we're going to learn how two parts make a whole basically so another way of doing addition so you can choose two different numbers one needs to go in each box so you can either choose the numbers for the children that you're working with or to make it a little bit more interesting you can ask them maybe to choose two number flashcards so then it's a little bit more of a surprise and a little bit more fun for them so let's go ahead and choose this one so we've got the number four and then this one so we've got the number five so let's look at these two so we're going to do four and five so five add four so what we're going to do is we're going to get the children to either use concrete materials like counters cubes or little loose parts and we're going to count out the two different parts so in this part here we're going to count out five counters one two three four five and then on this part we're going to count out four counters one two three four so there we have five add four so that's our two parts so now we're going to find out what number is going to go into our whole part so five add four equals the whole so an easy way to do this is basically just to move this part down to the bottom and then this part down to the bottom and then ask the children you're working with to count how many objects we have all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So our answer is nine. So five add four gives us nine and you can even ask the children that you're working with to write the number nine if you can write on your part part whole board to show that they know the answer so another way to use the part part whole model is to actually draw pictures in the different parts so again we would choose two numbers that we're working with so these numbers you could either maybe write at the top of each part or again we could be using the flashcards again ask the children maybe to turn pick out two cards from a bunch of cards and um, just to make it a little bit more exciting for them so i'm going to be choosing the numbers six and one so this time instead of using counters to put into your the different parts you can actually use a whiteboard pen and draw six things or six circles and then one in each part so we know that this is the number six so we're going to draw six circles one two three four five six and then we're going to be adding on one so we've got one so this is a little bit trickier because they're not just going to be able to move, obviously, their pictures down into the part at the bottom, the hole. So they're going to need to draw the circles, the two different parts, all together down the bottom. So you would just start off with this part and draw your six circles down the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe ask the children to maybe check that they've got the same number in their part as they do down the bottom in the hole. And then we're going to be drawing this part down the bottom as well. And then to get our answer, we're going to count how many circles we have in the hole at the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then as I said before, you could even ask your child to write the number seven to show their answer. Now the flashcards that I'm using today are actually available on my TPT store so I'll leave the link down below but don't worry you could just make your own, just use bits of paper, bits of card and just write out your numbers on them, they don't need to be fancy or anything. So this is another way of using the part part whole model to teach addition. So 
So another variation of using the part part whole model to teach addition is instead of drawing pictures in the two parts of your model, you can actually write the numbers. So then the children then have to figure out um, what they're going to draw or what they're going to use to help them. So they can either use counters and actually place counters in each part or they can draw a picture. So it's another um, way of just letting them explore what works best for them and let them kind of almost figure it out um, themselves. So. We've got here three and two, that's our two parts. So to, so to show the whole, you'll be asking the children to maybe draw out three objects or three circles down here, then draw two. And then again, all they have to do is count how many circles they have all together to get their answer. One, two, three, four, five. And again, they could even write their answer down the bottom. So thank you very much for watching. I really hope you found this video useful. And if you're looking to see any other teaching related videos, then make sure and subscribe to my channel. Bye.